A common question we get is how to find records in need of transcription, so we'll try to answer that in this video, while also showing you a little bit more about how the catalog works. Now, you might already know that any record in the catalog can be transcribed. We organize some records into missions to make it a little easier to find what to work on. Here, we've collected some World War II oral histories and interviews. This mission right now has 71 records in it, but that number has changed. When we originally posted it, there were 664 records. The number of records in the mission will continue to go down because as records are completely transcribed, we remove them from the mission. We do that by hand, so it's not instant, but every day or two we look through the missions and take out the completed ones. So the vast majority of records in each mission have at least one page still to be transcribed. So I'm going to click on this second record. Here above the image, you'll see the word transcription and next to that the word available. That means a transcription has been done. What we want is to find one that says not started. Now for transcriptions, we go page by page. So that word available refers only to this page, not for the whole record, which you can see up here has 120 pages. So how do we find which pages still need transcribing? We get a lot of complaints from people who are clicking through the pages one by one. I don't recommend that. If you look over here, there's a button that says show details. Let's click on that. This shows the images in a gallery view. It can help you get a better idea of what kinds of pages are there. And you can see what's been transcribed by looking here at this symbol that's supposed to look like a pen and paper. This check next to it means a transcription has been done. So this is a little faster than clicking through each page, but there's an even more efficient way to do it. Over here in the middle of the screen, you'll see grid and list. You're in the grid view now, so let's switch over to list. Now we have this column here that shows us whether each page has been transcribed. And it's pretty easy to scroll through the whole document this way. Here we see number 33 has not been transcribed. I'll click on that. If we keep scrolling down, we can see there's actually quite a few pages left in this record untranscribed. Volunteers have asked, why can't we remove the completed pages? And the answer to that is there is only one user interface for the catalog, whether you're using it to transcribe or do research. So we can't filter out completed pages or our researchers wouldn't be able to see them. In addition, we encourage you to look through the entire document. It can often help you to decipher difficult words or phrases, or you might find some pages that were left incomplete. I just want to add that sometimes if you scroll all the way through to the bottom here, you'll see the very last image is a PDF. That's just all the images collected into one file to make downloading easier. We don't ask you to transcribe those. You can just ignore them. I hope this showed you an easier way to find pages to transcribe, and you can always contact us at catalog at nara.gov.